Okay, I'm going to move us along then. It's time for the reading of the conflict of interest statement. This applies to the applications that you will review in closed session tomorrow. We're required to do this in the open session. Uh, you must leave the meeting room when applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state higher education or other systems with multiple campuses that are geographically separated, own organization is intended to mean the entire system, except where a determination has already been made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of determining conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that could give rise to charges of conflict of interest, whether real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions on any application from or involving your spouse, child, recent student, recent teacher, professional collaborator with whom you have worked with closely, a close personal friend, or a scientist with whom you have had longstanding scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate action based on recency, frequency, and strength of such associations or interests, either positive or negative, and will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which you vote on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, the on block action, for example, your vote will not apply to any application from any institution fulfilling the criteria noted above. Uh, I think we will send you a conflict of interest form electronically and ask you to sign it and return it to Comfort Brown. Uh, we have one more action to perform today in the open session, and that is we have a retiring class of council members. These are people that have served their four years of penance on council. And in fact, they agreed to extend their service by another 180 uh, days because of some logjam issues we've had getting our uh, council uh, nomination slates approved by the secretary's office. So we're doubly indebted to this group uh, for uh, their dedication and service to NHGRI. Now it's unfortunate that we're not together in person, but Eric, do you have uh, the lovely parting gifts that we have for you are these glass obelisks which are actually quite attractive. And they'll be in the mail along with a certificate. So it's, it's a trust us thing. You will receive them eventually. I understand the postal service has been slowed down, uh, but it's a treasure worth having. So our retiring members are Jeff Botkin. Now I for one don't want to envision a council meeting without Jeff. There's just a soothing authenticity and trustworthiness about Jeff that puts me at ease. Jeff's been on workshops, working groups, consensus panels that go back to the 1990s. He has lots of service on NHGRI review panels. Jeff always seems to be in the room and we're all better served by his presence and involvement. Thank you, Jeff. I'm sure we'll see you again at another NHGRI event. Jonathan Haynes. Jonathan is the classic example of how council members get pressed into service to advise NHGRI on a broad spectrum of research areas. First, we recruited him to serve on the external advisory board of the large scale sequencing program. Then came data sharing, databases and model organisms, functional genomics, integration of genomic data in clinical setting. And let's not forget the reason we recruited him to council which is his knowledge of statistical genetics and association studies. Thank you, Jonathan. You're always, you are in, in, in you are an executive secretary's best friend. Trey Eidecker. Trey, thank you for your wisdom on all things related to computational biology, modeling, and data science, including your time on the data science working group of council. You've always been a trusted and reliable voice on the council and we will miss you. And last, but certainly not least, we come to Sharon Plon, the self-proclaimed Girl Scout of the council. <laughs> Sharon, I don't remember in what context you brought that up, um, but you can always count on Sharon to give you the unvarnished truth and to keep us honest. She definitely tells it like it is. We need to find someone else who's gonna take 
charge and take on the role of starting council discussions because there's Sharon's hand always goes up and there's always good wisdom that follows from that. So thank you for your advice on clinical genetics and all aspects of genomic medicine research and your contributions to NHGRI's training program. This has been a great class. They're not only experts in their field, but they're, they've been wonderful people to work with. And your devotion to NHGRI is uh, duly noted. And we are very, very grateful to you. So thank you, God bless. And I look forward to seeing all of you on a peer review panel very, very soon. Thank you. Eric, do you have any uh, closing comments? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to ask you to gavel us to conclusion. No, I'd like to thank everybody. We had a lot of concepts to get through. The discussion was excellent. Uh, you guys, uh, all of you stayed energetic and helpful to the end. Much appreciated. Uh, we do have more work to do tomorrow, but I will certainly be happy to gavel the open session closed, Rudy, if that's what you want me to do. Yes, indeed. And we'll meet tomorrow beginning at 11 a.m. Uh, East Coast time. And again, there'll be another link that should be in your Outlook calendar. So see you all tomorrow for closed session. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye. Bye.